Hello, uh, welcome to my page, and this is my first vlog, uh, so bear with me. Uh, let's see how <laughs> that's going to work. Um, today's topic is about living overseas. It's something that I'm experiencing right now, and uh, I've been living here in China for over two years now. And I would like to share a little bit of what I've been through, uh, the little surprises, the the issues, and the, this whole thing, like in a very condensed <coughs> version. <laughs> uh, first time is I. Uh, I lived in Brazil my entire life uh, and came to the point that I was like, you know what, uh, I should try, you know, going overseas to work. Uh, it, it's not the first time that I've been overseas, but it's definitely the first time uh, I've been, you know, I've moved my entire life to to move to another country. and not knowing if I'm ever going to come back. So this is something uh, that it's a real changer. Uh, one thing is if you go on an exchange uh, to study, you know you're coming back. Uh, so you go, you have fun, you spend a lot of money or you study what you have to and then hey, family, friends, they're all there. Um, and in my case, I was like, yeah, why? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah let, let's try <laughs> uh, getting a job overseas. And um, that's what I did. And many people ask, how did you get your job uh, to, to go to China? Now, I've been, uh, you know, they, people always get surprised. It's like, wow, you're really in the, in the opposite side of the planet. And yeah, it is. <laughs> Um, uh, when I applied to Gameloft, uh, I applied to many companies. I, I made a search on many game companies, you know, studios, animation studios, and I was really sending my resumes, uh, portfolio, um, and waiting for an answer. It's like, what do I have to lose? I can. I, I was just sending, writing cover letters, you know, checking spelling and everything just to be right. And I was waiting, I got some no's, like sometimes they reply, no, I'm sorry, <clears throat> someone else already, you know, uh, got the position, or yeah, we'd like to, but we don't have the funding to bring you over. So I, I had some, and some never replied, So, but it's okay, it happens. Uh, the thing is, uh, I got some yes, I got some no's, and... One day I just got this reply from Gameloft and I was like, yay! Uh, I was expecting, uh, because I applied to Gameloft in the United States, I didn't apply for Asia at all, even though I'm Asian. Um, I, I never considered going to Asia to work because, uh, well, living in Brazil my entire life, I met so many Asians that they just left uh, country, you know, Chinese people, Japanese people, Koreans, and they they all moved to Brazil. And everything they say is that it's so stressful <laughs> to be in their country. So I was like, yeah, okay, Asia, definitely not going to go, uh, you know, definitely not going to be there. <laughs> and so I never considered going to Asia. Uh, that this was my thinking at the time, and. And then when I got a reply from Gameloft from uh, you know from my application to the United States, uh, suddenly the reply wasn't from the the art director from the United States it was from uh, Shanghai, China, and I was like, what? <laughs> and I automatically didn't want to go uh, to China. I was like, ah, oh, why? Why? Why would I go there? <laughs> I mean, I hear so terrible stories about it, uh, that it's dirty, it's like noisy, blah, blah, blah. But then uh, I, I made my research and 
my cousin's husband, uh, he goes, he comes and goes to China. Uh, it's you know, on business trips. So I asked him, so how is China? Um, how is it like the whole business stuff? And and he was like, hey, for him, he, he said, it is cool. You know, I was like, oh, nice. Um, living costs, da da da. And he, he was explaining many things about China. Uh, the bad things too. Uh, he was being very realistic. Uh, and then I was in the verge of not accepting. And then he, I was talking to him on the phone. And then he asked, what do you have to lose? And I was like, nothing much really. So that, that really made me think. Because it is an opportunity to go to a completely different place. Uh, had a, I have a new experience. And I, if I really didn't like it, I could just come back. Uh, and and he, he had a point. But in the end, I was like, okay, why not? I, I can go. And that's it. So the, the whole thing was about uh, knowing the reality of moving to another country. For instance, uh, is the salary good? <laughs> because that first thing you have to say, you, you you can't just be like, yeah, someone is calling me overseas and I'm I'm taking my bag and go. So it's not so simple. Uh, I had to you know ask and research and t tell people, hey, is this salary good in China? Uh, and some would say, hey, it's okay. Uh, and I was researching on forums uh, and uh, so many blogs about expats. Uh, and they were all saying, oh, no, I've got a job offer and I would get like uh, 5,000 kwai. So if you listen sometimes to 5,000, you say, hey, it's a good amount of money. You, you think about it and you can even... Uh, well, even if you convert it, and if by chance it's still higher than what you get, um, it could, could be a trap. <laughs> you never know, because you have to research uh, salary-wise, the, the, the living cost of the country, taxes, uh, the, the, the payment systems. So all these kind of things, you, you can get surprised. You know, um, you you want you don't want to get surprised by this kind of stuff. Uh, for example, one thing, one big mistake that I did, it, it's not a big mistake, but um, I was too naive uh, because the company is like it, it is a, a game loft, it is a big company and stuff, and they were like, oh, don't worry, we can arrange or we can help you with all the rent. Uh, I mean, looking for an apartment and blah, 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 blah. And yeah, they, they did help. But the thing is, I forgot one very important thing, which is whenever you rent a place, you have to pay up front, uh, usually an extra rent. And it's terrible to go to a country and you realize that you're going to start with zero, almost zero money in your pocket. So you can't make plans for the future for the next months until you get your first salary. So yeah, definitely not um, not a, a good start. But yeah, it happened. So that's my tip for you. Always ask <laughs> how many rents you have to pay up front most of the times and how, uh, how can you negotiate with the landlord, who is responsible for the rent, for you, who you have to pay for. Uh, and even though some the companies might say don't worry about it, do worry about it because you're you're starting to be responsible responsible for yourself. Uh, so never never take it for granted. Uh, and you know just go and uh, research is just about. Uh, so many people went to the same experience in living you know away from home that I, I'm pretty sure you are always going to find an answer. 
Uh, and I'm going to put in the description some useful links that I use to do my own research. Uh, I'm pretty sure in the future, if you have plans on moving overseas, it's going to make a difference. Uh, and another thing to have in mind, mind, you know, uh, is uh, go and be ready for a new experience. Uh, it is a different country, uh, different people, and it is very interesting to see yourself uh, starting from zero, <laughs> you know, and not having your usual friends around. So you have to go and try to just enjoy, uh, talk to people, uh, and try to take the best out of it. And that's the best tip I can give you right now, I guess. So now if you have any doubts, any extra things that you might want to know about, well, just leave it in the comments. Uh, I'm pretty sure I won't be able to reply, you know, like uh, immediately. But what I can do is gather all these questions and make a, a new vlog about it. Uh, in the future, you know, put them in, in line or whenever, you know, try to bring it up uh, when uh, it's relevant. So that's it. So if you like the video, give a like, uh, share, comment, uh, give suggestions, please. Uh, it's my first vlog. I know there are many things to change and I'm completely open for suggestions to make it a, a better channel. Uh, Check my Patreon page, see all the perks you can get, the different values. Uh, I, I kept as simple as possible. So please, give me your feedback. Uh, and thank you for watching and see you next week. Uh, and I'm going to leave a little message uh, in Portuguese. So but the video is over, so I'm just leaving here a, a little message. If you understand Portuguese, then stay. Otherwise, bye-bye. Oi pessoal, uh, então esse foi meu primeiro vlog, uh, infelizmente não vai ser em português. Uh, eu estou fazendo em inglês, uh, mas porque o Patreon, é, foi uma decisão minha, o Patreon ele é uma plataforma muito mais internacional, então é, é pelo qual eu estou indo. Eu poderia até fazer uma tradução, fazer legenda, mas uh, eu preciso de tempo para isso. Uh, mas o que eu espero é que mesmo assim... Uh, para quem ainda não, não pega bem inglês, pelo menos compartilhar ou até ouvir, né? Praticar um pouco, uh, ouvir o inglês. O inglês não. Até meio churinha. <risos> Mas a gente vai levando. Uh, e se no futuro, uh, no, no Patreon, eu conseguir alcançar a minha meta uh, a mensal, na semanal, no meu caso, eu acabei mudando as, alguns parâmetros da página. Uh, sim, eu gostaria muito de poder contratar alguém para fazer essa tradução e já deixar os vídeos com legenda em português. Ou então fazer o contrário, fazer vídeos em português e alguém traduzir para inglês. Não sei. Então, uh, mas no momento eu não tenho condições de pagar ninguém para fazer isso e eu, infelizmente, também não tenho tempo para fazer tanta coisa. Uh, todos esses reajustes. Então, perdoe, sem é português. Eu sei que essas informações que eu estou passando seriam muito mais úteis para a galera brasileira, mas uh, eu, eu fiquei dividida. Então, no caso, eu acabei escolhendo ir por inglês e porque é bom para mim para praticar meu inglês também. Uh, eu, eu tenho amigos que falam inglês aqui, eu, eu, eu me comunico geralmente em inglês. Então, ah, essa é mais uma forma de, de continuar praticando em casa. Então, deem like, ah, compartilhem, ah, espalhem né, a palavra sobre o, a minha página do Patreon. E nos vemos no próximo vídeo. Tchau!